Before we start the video, just a quick reminder that I do have a Discord server, so if you haven't yet, please join it. We can chat there, and also it's a good way for me to communicate with you in case something bad happens to the channel. If you're interested, the link to it is in the description. Yo, what's up guys? It's over the 469 and I'm here with Super Prime. Hi, I'm Super Prime. I create a lot of awesome content on Ninjago, Cobra Kai, Lucifer, and a bunch of other shows, but mainly Ninjago. And yeah, that's me. Today we are collabing on this video because we are going to be discussing the top five Ninjago allies. Please keep in mind that everything said in this video is based on our own opinions and we will not be counting allies who have major roles in almost every season like Wu or Pixel. Let's get started. At number 5, we have Ronin. Ronin mainly because he's a really, really interesting character. Because he's not on anybody's side. He is like a cool bounty hunter slash ninja ally slash betrayer or something. He is not an ally ally. That's why he's at number 5. But I really like his character. His character arc was pretty cool. But the only con with him is that he did not have enough screen time after season 6. He had a decent amount of screen time before that for a side character. But yeah, that is the only drawback. At number 4 we have Cyrus Borg. So Borg first appeared in season 3 of Ninjago or rebooted and honestly he is one of my personal favorites. He has shown up in most seasons since his debut even going as far as season 12 Prime Empire. His intelligence and talent for working on machines also make him very distinguishable compared to other characters. While he may not be present in many Ninjago seasons lately, he still left a notable legacy in the franchise and is one of the most significant Ninjago characters. In this list though, 3 characters were able to top him. Next on my list, we have Vanya. So, Vanya is a very interesting character. I really like her. She had a lot of screen time in season 13, and I would like her to see, see her in the future. Here is why. Because I think, really, Vanya is a really interesting character. Her backstory could really develop. And, and more than a backstory, what's ahead could develop, too. Because she is the new queen of Shintaro. She's the leader of Shintaro. It would be really, really fun to see her arc develop from there. And to be honest, I don't want her to be in a relationship with Cole. I think Cole's personality suits him to be more single-ish. We already saw what happened in season 3. But I think they could remain friends. Just because she's a female does not mean she has to be Cole's love interest. I like her as her own character and as a best friend to Cole. Okay, at number 2 spot we have Dareth. Oh, I already know this is going to be an unpopular opinion, but I don't really care. This is our opinion. So Dareth started off in Season 2 in 2012 with the Mojo Dojo episode. He was just a comic relief character, which he still is. He was a bit annoying, but as a kid, I remember enjoying him a lot. I think his character has gotten better post-Season 8 and Season 9. She's just become less annoying and overall a really funny dude just all around and a really cool ally to the ninja. For nostalgia purposes, he's here. Also, because he's been way better in the last couple of seasons. Here are some honorable mentions. Akita is pretty cool. While I do not like season 11, I liked her companionship with Lloyd on their quest to fight the Ice Emperor. But in the end, she did not leave much of an impact in the show. Continuing the trend of very minor show impact, Scott is another not very notable ninja ally since all he did was help the ninja out in Terra Technica, a city in Prime Empire. I think he is the best of the season 12 ninja allies, but he is still very bland compared to the allies we have mentioned so far on the list. Okino, like Scott, appeared in season 12, but again, all he did was guide the ninja through Terra Karana. Faith, unlike the honorable mention so far, appeared again in season 10 after her debut, but she still does not leave much of an impact on the show's legacy apart from guiding the marooned ninja through the first realm. Finally, although he is a prominent Ninjago character, Prem and I decided to include Garmadon. Although he is a villain in most of the series, for those of you who do not know, he became good at the end of Season 2 and through Season 4 or technically 5 counting his cameo, he was a prominent ninja ally. We really liked his guidance for the ninja, but honestly, given his lore and the franchise, we thought it was unfair to include him on the main list, so we decided to limit him as an honorable mention. And at the top of our list, number one is none other than Skylar Chen. Wow, what an awesome ally. It may be a common trend, but season four is my favorite Ninjago season and Skylar plays a big part in that. Kai's arc with her is really well done, also her relationship with her father, and take note that she returned in five seasons after her debut. We may not have seen her for three seasons or since season 10 March of the Oni as of the time of this recording, but her role as a Ninjago character is very significant and in general, she is probably one of the most praised Ninjago allies ever. That's all we have to say. Before we go, I quickly wanted to say thank you so much to Prane for helping me out with this collab. It was loads of fun to make. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe to both of our channels. We both make a lot of really awesome content. Thank you, Overlord X. Overlord X. Overlord X.
I had a lot of fun making this with you. Who are your top five ninja allies? Please let us know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, everyone, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out. Bye.